privacy, I think, um, as a notion itself, it's, some, it's a bit like art. Uh, you, you know it when you see it, but you can't really explain what it is. So when you ask people uh, what is privacy, uh, even lawyers, you know, how does the law treat privacy or your privacy? Uh, people have uh, difficulty uh, expressing themselves or explaining it clearly. So I'll try to explain some aspect of privacy, at least insofar as it relates to uh, the law and insofar as it relates to social networking. Uh, so I see privacy uh, in this context as uh, the ability, sort of the, the autonomous ability of a person, your own ability, to share uh, uh, autonomy, sorry, uh, to share bits of information about yourself, right? So um, you may choose to share this piece of information or that piece of information. Uh, and and um, it, it implicates uh, different parts of your life. Uh, why do you do this? You know, why do we uh, try to modulate what information uh, we give out, give out there? And how does it relate to privacy? Well, one of its basic uses is to uh, build up your own uh, persona, right? You construct your own persona based on the pieces of information that you give out about yourself. So just recent, just now, Jeanette released some information about me, and so you have an, inf you have an impression of who I am based on, that, on those pieces of information. I may or may not have given her consent, uh, my consent, for her to disclose that information. In fact, there's a good example earlier with Azrael where he didn't realize that Jeanette would pick up on his uh, Star Trek uh, interest and uh, would announce that to the world. So uh, that's, an, that's an aspect of privacy as well. Uh, so you normally want to uh, regulate the amount of information you give in order to construct this face that you give to the world. 